So I've got myself uh, yet another Cisco antenna, but this time it's a uh, 2.4 gigahertz uh, panel antenna. There's actually two panel antennas in this, just like uh, when we looked at the 5 gigahertz one. Again, this is for a uh, diversity setup, but again, I think it's probably uh, panel diversity that they're going for here because there's nothing uh, you know apart from the antenna that's going to be in here that uh, will produce diversity so either the uh, that part of the equation is in the uh, hardware or they're just going for the uh, pattern diversity again if you want to look at that in a little bit more detail wikipedia's got a nice page on that but uh, this is a uh, 2.4 gigahertz uh, panel antenna it's the air ant 2012 and it's uh, 6.5 dbi of gain now i did order this one uh, before i ordered the uh, 5 gigahertz one but the 5 gigahertz one came first now i want to take this apart again so we can have a look on the inside have a look at the measurements uh, but before i do that let's take it over to the network analyzer and see how well it performs at uh, 2.4 gigahertz so here is the uh, panel antenna then on the uh, test setup just like you've seen many times before so let's have a look at the output on the network analyzer so here it is on the network analyzer then i'm uh, scanning from two gigahertz over here to uh, three gigahertz and we've got this quite wide range of frequency of operation here i've got the cursor on uh, 2.45 gigahertz which is bang in the middle of the Wi-Fi spectrum but you can see how wide it is here I mean from here all the way over to here and probably here as well it's going to work really really nicely so really wide band of uh, operation there and if we quickly have a look at the VSWR over at uh, 2.45 gigahertz you can see there 1.4 so again a really nice VSWR I'll uh, have a quick look when we go back to uh, the uh, table on the other side of the lab here exactly what the VSWR is from Cisco, what they report, but uh, 1.4, that's uh, pretty nice. So again, a very nice uh, performing antenna and I would note I've done a quick search online and the VSWR for this um, is advertised as uh, 1.7 now as you saw a little bit lower on my network analyzer i mean mine's network analyzer is a little bit old now hasn't been calibrated for a couple of years so possibly that's uh, the reason why or possibly they've uh, taken uh, two measurements of the panel antennas and combined them i don't know but uh, you know either way um 1.7 is still a nice low figure for a panel antenna now i'm not sure what we're going to find in here whether it's going to be uh, the exact same design as we saw so on the uh, 5 gigahertz ones but uh, i was expecting something a little bit bigger if i've got the bring the case in here this is the case for the 5 gigahertz panel antennas and as you can see there's not a great deal the size difference so it should be interesting it's a little bit different on the back as well we've got a few more screws than we did with the 5 gigahertz version but again we've got this really nice coax that's uh, going to come in handy i paid uh, 10 pounds for this and uh, four pounds shipping uh, so i had to pay a little bit for shipping this time but uh, you know again this uh, would certainly you wouldn't have got a lot of change out of say a hundred pound for this when it was new still get quite a few sellers online trying to uh, get silly money for one of these but uh, for picking one of these up for 10 pounds and hopefully fingers crossed we'll get two panel antennas out of it at the end um you know they really are a bargain if you see one pick it up cheap so i'm going for some uh, serious forced with this one i've turned the nylon screws and they just seem to spin uh, on the inside i've tried to uh, open the phillips head screws but they are uh, really really tight and i don't want to break anything so i'm going for prizing the case off here because i'm hoping that uh, the case is just held down with uh, double-sided uh, some kind of glue double-sided tape or uh, you know some masking so this is sealed a little bit but um yeah i'm not sure how this is uh put together yet but uh, that's all part of the fun we're going to find out 
So the antenna was held together with this uh, double sided foam here. The screws on the back were only holding these uh, main driven element plates in place. Nothing to do with the case at all. But uh, first looking at this, they're nowhere near as pretty as the uh, 5 gigahertz versions and I did buy these uh, with the same intention um, as I did with the 5 gigahertz ones to make a couple of uh, reference antennas but uh, you can see the design here and it is a shorter design as well this piece that comes in through the middle with the uh, nut on top is connected uh, to the back reflector here it's a piece of aluminium it looks about uh, maybe two and a half three millimeters thick and uh, yeah that is connected to the back of this so it's a shorted uh, panel design this little notch that we've got here as well that's probably uh, bringing the impedance down again to bring some impedance matching down to uh, 50 ohms to lower the VSWR that is a cl classic uh, design feature with uh, panel antennas you know you have your cutout either with your feed uh, that sort of thing we've seen those uh, before on this channel but uh, it's not as uh, good looking as the uh, 5 gigahertz uh, antennas were but as we saw on the network analyzer they uh, certainly do perform at uh, 2.4 gigahertz now to turn these into a couple of uh, reference antennas that i can use over on the uh, bench i've certainly got my uh, work cut out for me it's not as simple as it was with the uh, 5 gigahertz ones but i am going to have a go because uh, i will be changing these i'll be adding some uh, dielectric under here i won't be having these uh, standoffs here so it'd be interesting if i build them and then we can test them again after i've modified them and see if we've changed that center frequency uh, in any way by using uh, you know a different dielectric and just removing them from this um, that should be interesting the five gigahertz ones when i removed them i did test them again off camera they haven't changed they stayed the same but we didn't really do anything uh, majorly uh, different to those but uh, this is going to take a little bit of work so uh, you know let me get on with that and uh, we'll click into the video again and uh, so you should hopefully see what um, i've come up with to make two little uh, panel antennas out of this so i've been working away behind the scenes and i must admit when i first opened this up and uh, saw what was on the inside because uh, you know i did want to purchase this for a uh, couple of reference antennas just like the 5 gigahertz ones but also for you to uh, take a look at and we could take some measurements etc but uh, i've come up with something that i'm happy with now i mean when you compare it to the 5 gigahertz version this took uh, very little modification at all but uh, i've come up with uh, this and i've made some new reflectors for these this is a uh, one millimeter thick uh, copper sheet and uh, i've made the reflector as you can see here i've changed the risers uh, for these black ones they're basically the same uh, length um, 9.9 .9 millimeters i think they are but uh, i've put some sma connectors on the back i've done one rp sma and one sma but i've also added something to this uh, for us to uh, have a look at over on the uh, test bench and if uh, you remember when we first opened these up these are electrically connected uh, through this bolt here on the main driven element all the way back to the back reflector here so that's a short it's a shorter design and what i've done i've put uh, a brass screw on this side just so it blends in with the uh, brass element a little bit better and i've got this uh, screw on the back here and at the moment it's screwed in tight and uh, this is connected all the way through to the main driven element but i can get a screwdriver and just back that off slightly and then kill the uh, connection so it's no longer electrically uh, connected and we can have a look on the uh, test bench and see what that does to uh, the overall frequency of this antenna now i've also because i've reduced the uh, back reflector on this um compared to the original one it's not going to be the same gain i've probably knocked maybe uh, one gain or slightly under 
um, off this because the reflector is not as big. I was originally going to cut it out of this um, aluminium here, uh, which is uh, three millimeter thick aluminium to make the back reflectors, but I decided to go with the copper. I just think it looks a little bit nicer. So it'd be interesting to see when we test these again, if we've changed anything by modifying them like this. And also, you know, breaking that uh, connection between the driven element and the back reflector. See if that changes anything as well. So let's head over there and take a look. Should be interesting. So I've got it set up on the test bench. And if we uh, take a look at the network analyzer, we're still getting a good uh, response at 2.45 gigahertz. So we've got it centered on 2.45 uh, gigahertz just there and we can go along a little bit it's uh, quite wide again it's frequency of operation there let's have a look at uh, the VSWR and the VSWR when it settles down seems to be a little bit lower than uh, it was previously we're getting 1.2 1.3 there so we haven't uh, upset the antenna too much by modifying it so it does seem still to be uh, quite a nice antenna let me uh, change the frequency that we're scanning at and go a little bit further up so we're scanning from uh, 1 gigahertz all the way over here to uh, 4 gigahertz here and you can see that lovely lovely dip that we've got there just at the uh, 2.4 gigahertz range a really nice antenna so let me put it back to how it was before and uh, what I'll do this time is uh, cut the short on the uh, little panel antenna here by uh, loosening the screw off a little bit and see what uh, that does to the frequency response So here we go then, we're no longer connected, we've still got uh, a nice frequency response but it has lifted up a little bit, so let's have a look at the VSWR, and the VSWR doesn't seem to have changed much, so I'm not sure really, I can't see any real difference there between having uh, that short on there and not just changed it a little bit if I screw it back in see what it does directly on the screen move my hand away yeah we've got a small change there but it's still on center frequency let me loosen it off again just to double check so putting my hand in the way does mess things up a little bit but uh, if we loosen that up it doesn't seem to have done a great deal So I've tightened it back up again and uh, yeah I was expecting to see some kind of change but uh, there's not that much change between the uh, shorted version and the one that's uh, isolated. I was expecting to see a bigger change than that but it uh, didn't seem to make that much difference in this case. Now to conclude we've uh, turned up with two very nice uh, reference antennas that uh, we can use over on the test bench Th these are for me personally when I do something like a calibration you know just to double check that everything's working fine and again uh, you know if I uh, use a different directional coupler or different uh, connecting equipment over on there just to test if uh, that new equipment or different equipment changes anything uh, you know when it comes to testing something uh, so it's nice to uh, get a known good antenna with a you know a known output on there but uh, as I said I was a little bit disappointed at first but I think uh, they've turned out quite nice I will uh, make a PDF of the artwork and measurements that you can uh, download in the description it'll be in the description of this video um, 
again with the back reflector you can make that a little bit bigger if you want to uh, possibly get the uh, advertised gain there that uh, Cisco claimed for this uh, antenna then but uh, you know it's this is a nice uh, form factor to have I mean it's not overly big uh, quite a nice form factor um, I was hoping to see a bigger difference by uh, releasing this uh, screw here on the front so they were no longer electrically uh, connected with the main driven element and the back reflector we didn't get the uh, effect that I was hoping for in fact it wasn't really much of an uh, effect at all by uh, having them electrically connected but I do like to experiment like that I do a lot of things like that behind the scenes just to test different ideas out I mean it may also be uh, interesting to see if you uh, cut this tab off here what that would do you know whether it would raise the VSWR up change the center frequency or what, something like that I don't know but uh, little things like that I do find interesting so yeah the artwork will be below in the description if you want to have a go at making one of these I have a cut the artwork out on some uh, copper or brass and then uh, you know cut around the uh, artwork or use it to uh, etch in some PCB to make them out of PCB I mean uh, you know you've got lots of different options with a uh, design like this but uh, if you did enjoy the video please give it a uh, thumbs up any comments or questions drop them below and I'll do my best to answer them if you want to uh, help support this channel on patreon then uh, please do so um, it helps me to buy little things like this so we can uh, take a look at uh, on the channel but uh, you know hopefully you'll join me on the next one